Just heard from Secretary of State Jenna Griswold about, of course, she was arguing in the case from Colorado to take former President Trump off the ballot. And now we are about 45 seconds, uh, according to plan, from hearing from President Trump himself. He's in Mar-a-Lago. Right. He's expected to take the podium here at any second. Again, we're talking about a historic decision here that basically ended the potential huge implications for the 2024 election. We know that really the big takeaway here, as we've been saying all yeah. morning, is that the Supreme Court said, hey, this isn't for the states to decide. This is for Congress to decide, ultimately saying that federal uh, overrule state. And it sounds like Trump is now walking out to the podium. Let's listen in. Very well crafted. And I think it will go a long way toward bringing our country together, which our country needs. And uh, they worked long, they worked hard, and frankly, they worked very quickly on something that will be spoken about 100 years from now and 200 years from now, extremely important. Essentially, you cannot take somebody out of a race because an opponent would like to have it that way. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's the leading candidate, whether it was the leading candidate or a candidate that was well down on the totem pole, you cannot take somebody out of a race. The voters can take the person out of the race very quickly, but a court shouldn't be doing that, and the Supreme Court saw that very well. And I really do believe that will be a unifying factor, because while most uh, states were thrilled to have me, you know, there were some that didn't, and they didn't want that for political reasons. They didn't want that because of poll numbers, because the poll numbers are very good. We're uh, beating President Biden in almost every poll. New York Times came out yesterday with a very big uh, poll for us. So they. Uh, they didn't like that, and you can't do that. You can't do what they tried to do. And hopefully Colorado, as an example, will unify. I know there's tremendous support. They've, they brought our support up very strong in Colorado because people thought, people in Colorado thought that was a terrible thing that they did. And while we're on the subject, and another thing that will be coming up very soon will be immunity for a president. And not immunity for me, but for any president. If a president doesn't have full immunity, you really don't have a president because nobody that is serving in that office will have the courage to make, in many cases, what would be the right decision, or it could be the wrong decision. It could be, in some cases, the wrong decision, but they have to make decisions, and they have to make them free of all terror that can be rained upon them when they leave office or even before they leave office. And, some decisions are very tough. I can tell you that as a president that some decisions to make are very tough. I took out ISIS and I took out some very big people from the standpoint of a different part of the world. Uh, two of the leading terrorists, probably the two leading terrorists ever that we've ever seen in this world. And uh, those are big decisions. I don't want to be prosecuted for it. Uh, Another president wouldn't want to be prosecuted for it. It had a tremendously positive impact. It stopped everything cold. And sometimes you have to make those. They were tough decisions. Sometimes you have to make decisions like that. When you make a decision, you don't want to have your opposing party or opponent or even somebody that just thinks you're wrong bring a criminal suit against you or any kind of a suit when you leave office. I have that right now at a level that nobody's ever seen before. I have rogue prosecutors. And I have rogue judges. I have judges that are out of control. And it's a very unfair thing for me, but um, serving perhaps as a uh, sample to others of what should not be happening. When you make good decisions, and in my case, the economy was great. We didn't go into any wars. We totally defeated ISIS. We provided the largest tax cuts in history. We provided the largest regulation cuts in history. But think of it, no wars. We beat ISIS 100 percent of the caliphate. Then there were no wars. We, we did a job that was great, but I, maybe I wouldn't have done that. The caliphate defeating them was very powerful. It was going to take four years. It took me four months. But it was a very strong uh, dictum that I gave. I said, get them, defeat them, end it. We were fighting for 20 years against ISIS, and we did it very quickly. I don't want to be prosecuted. In that case, it worked out very well. There will be some things that perhaps don't work out so well, but I don't want to be prosecuted because I 
decided to do something that is very much for the good of the country and actually for the good of the world. A president shouldn't have that on his mind, and he has to have a free and clear mind when he makes very big decisions. Or it's going to be nothing more than a ceremonial post. You'll be president, it'll be a wonderful thing, and you won't do anything because you don't want to be hit by your opponent or hit by somebody else. Because who wants to leave office and go through what I've gone through? I'm being prosecuted by Biden, my opponent. Because every one of these things, whether it's Fannie Willis or Bragg, these are local and state, but they're in total coordination with the White House. You can't do that. It shouldn't be done. done. I mean, a thing like that, uh, in the case of the DA's office, they put one of the top people, maybe the second person, in the Manhattan DA's office to get Trump. All right, President Trump there uh, in Mar-a-Lago, there just outside of West Palm Beach. Of course, his reaction speaking about the decision from the Supreme Court that just came down a few hours ago, keeping him on the ballot here in Colorado and essentially setting the stage to keep him on the ballot with other states that have challenged that. Right now, really focusing on immunity for presidents, a large part of what he was speaking about. We'll be right back after this.